Critters 3 was released direct to video in 1991. It pretty much continues where the last one left off, with Charlie still in the hunt for the leftover Krites. It's got a single father and his two kids, Annie and Johnny, on their way back to the city after taking a vacation. On the way, they get a flat tire and are forced to pull over. The kids wander off and run into Leonardo DiCaprio. Yes, that Leonardo DiCaprio, the guy who would go on to become one of the world's biggest movie stars. So this is probably like that porno most big stars have to do before they get famous. I'm pretty sure he neglects to mention this stain on the bottom of his resume. That's an interesting connection, though. Billy Zane had a small role in the original film, and both ended up as leads in Titanic. All they need now is Kate Winslet. To be fair, as far as the series goes, Critters 3 isn't that bad. I'd sandwich it between Critters 1 and Critters 2. It's not quite as goofy as the second film, but it's more enjoyable than the first. Most of it takes place in this rundown apartment, so it actually feels more claustrophobic than the first two films. I don't have much to say about this one. If you've seen the last two movies, you know exactly what to expect. The characters somehow wind up trapped in this building as the Krites try to turn them all into snacks. The Critters have one new move. They can do the spin dash like in Sonic the Hedgehog and propel themselves vertically. The characters are all stock for the most part, but they stick together throughout the film, so it isn't just a random series of kills. The acting is nothing special, but I have to hand it to the kids. They're not bad. There's no chemistry between them, and there's nothing about Leo's performance that suggests he would go on to make it big, but it's commendable, especially given that most of the time, child actors just can't act. You see about as much of the critters in this movie as you did in the last two films. Of course, we get the obligatory dining scene where the critters just act like a bunch of goofballs and eat everything in sight. I'm not quite sure why they chose to send this direct video, but I think the second film struggled at the box office. What I'm getting at is, it's really not as bad as direct video films are reputed to be. It's critters with a three in front of it. Nuff said. This one gets two and a half bubble spewing critters. Yes, 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 no, no, no.